In this video, we'll illustrate how a small change to a Canvas site creates a domino effect of required changes affecting many areas of the course. Our goal is to prevent the stress that inconsistent course information will cause you and your students. Your Canvas course is built on a set of interconnected documents and Canvas features. This architecture provides different forms of information about the same course to both students and administrators. Making changes without addressing all of the places where the information is displayed will result in inconsistencies that are confusing and frustrating for students, and can also corrupt program accreditation data. These documents are maintained by human efforts and are not automatically flagged or updated. Let's take a look at a specific example. If I move this activity from Module 1 to Module 2, I'll also need to change the due date in the Canvas tool, search for and replace any reference to the module number in the activity's instructions, and do the same in the assignment summary document. Change the placement of the activity in the syllabus course schedule, remove the activity from the overview page of the original module and add it to the new module's overview page, and do the same for the module level outcomes that apply to this activity, and do the same for resources that apply to this activity. And finally, update the learning resources document so that the libraries can build an accurate library course page the next time the course is taught. There are similarly detailed processes for adding or removing an activity, changing the points on an activity, changing the title of an activity, reordering modules, and more. To avoid mistakes, we've developed checklists to use when making all kinds of changes. You'll find these linked in the video's description. And we are happy to assist you in making these changes. When working with OES to redesign a course, please keep your instructional designer informed. When you want to change a course you are currently teaching, request a consultation via the OES Course Assistance Form. Thank you.